Quick say, to John St. Lucie, my fellow St. Lucians, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is relieved to note a decline in active cases associated with the fourth wave of the COVID-19 pandemic in St. Lucia. Our active cases have dropped to 350 cases. We also note a steady decline in the rate of transmission. We have been able to commence the phase face-to-face -face opening of school and look forward to keeping our children at school in a safe learning environment. That these gains were achieved at a time when the number of cases and deaths globally and regionally continue to rise is an accomplishment for which you, the people of St. Lucia, deserve full credit. It is your great sacrifice and cooperation in adhering to the various protocols that has taken us to where we are today. Even as we acknowledge these gains, we cannot forget our losses. On behalf of the Prime Minister, my Cabinet colleagues, and on my own behalf, I wish to extend my sincere condolences to the families and loved ones of the 253 victims of COVID-19 in our country. Our government is determined to draw on all resources at its disposal to give the best chance of survival to those who are infected by COVID-19 and require hospitalization. To this end, we continue to give focused attention to improving the conditions at the respiratory hospital. This week, for the very first time, at the Victoria Hospital, we installed a central electronic monitoring system. When completed, doctors and nurses will be able to view the status of patients on one screen and in one location. We will continue to prioritize the COVID-19 immunization program. We are encouraged to note an increase in the number of vaccinations over the last few weeks. Now, just over 1 in 5 or 22% of St. Lucians is fully vaccinated and just over 1 in 4 St. Lucians or 27% of the population have received one dose of a vaccine. We have also started providing booster doses for special groups who received the second vaccine dose six months ago. As encouraging as these developments may be, we know that we are a long way off from the ideal situation where vaccination is concerned. Our vaccination rate is well below that of many countries in the Caribbean. We aim to catch up. We must do better because St. Lucia is still at a critical stage in its fight against the fourth wave of this pandemic. As we enter the festive season, we cannot let our guard down. We are not unmindful of the desire of all St. Lucians, especially our business persons, to get a little relief from the protocols. Every meeting of the COVID-19 Management Center and the Cabinet is dominated by discussions about how we might do this. And every discussion ends with the painful conclusion that premature relief would lead to long-term damage to our society and our economy. There is consensus, however, that going forward, we should provide as much predictability in the protocols as is possible to allow our citizens and business persons to plan their affairs. After discussions and dialogue with the members of the COVID-19 Management Center and the Cabinet of Ministers, new protocols have been recommended. Commencing Monday, November 1st, 2021, and ending Tuesday, November 30th, 1. Confinement to residents will continue in effect from Monday to Friday from 10 p.m. and end at 4 a.m. 2. Confinement on weekends will be as follows. On Saturday, November 6th and Saturday, November 13th, 2021, Confinement will start at 10 p.m. and end at 4 a.m. on the following Monday. On Sunday, November 21st 
and Sunday, November 28th, 2021, confinement will start from 1 p.m. each day until 4 a.m. the following Monday. I repeat, on Sunday, November 21st, and Sunday, November 28th, 2021, confinement will start from 1 p.m. each day until 4 a.m. the following Monday. 3. On Sunday, November 7th, and Sunday, November 14th, a person may attend a religious ceremony during confinement, but must return to his or her residence by 1 p.m. on that day. 4. A person may host or attend a social event with 50 or less fully vaccinated persons. An application must be made to an approval must be granted by the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. 5. Religious ceremonies are allowed based on the square footage of the organization in keeping with approved COVID-19 response plan. Special religious rites, including weddings, baptisms, and funerals, are permitted with 100 or less persons. 6. An approved bar with a valid liquor license is permitted to operate from 10 a.m. until closure of business to fully vaccinated persons only. 7. Dine-in services at approved restaurants and food establishments is allowed to fully vaccinated patrons only. Takeaway, meaning grab-and-go, and delivery services will be permitted at other establishments. 8. A certified accommodation provider or an approved tourism establishment may permit a fully vaccinated person access to the services offered by the provider or establishment. 9. All educational institutions may open for face-to-face -face engagement to facilitate structured supervision from November 8, 2021. The Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training will communicate the confirmed dates to the public. The Government of St. Lucia will continue to monitor the trends during this period and the protocols will be reviewed in relation to the festive season in December. Let us all continue adhering to the protocols to reduce the spread of the COVID-19 virus and to return our country to the level of normalcy which we all desire. I thank you. Mm -hmm.